knowing that he will lose his dad, you know. That is crazy. Video, did you know if that was his village or what was this? The same guy. This whole area is like where you guys originally from. Yeah, that's the family property. Some of them are just really living in our property. John, you see what's happening here? How things don't just everything happens for a reason. <laughs> you know, I come to the Philippines and you take me on and and uh, I become sort of your Filipino family and then now your area gets like hits the worst and I'm there giving relief good even without yeah. knowing it's your place. That's why I said like it's really <laughs> how you connect things together in the Dutch, you know, you never know what happens in life. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I'm really people. That really, is really, unbelievable. When, you, when I saw you when I saw it in the papers uh video like Bob Alex said who's that Mustang by favorite car? Like so then you recognize. Like <laughs> oh my! We want to donate that area for school so that we can help the community and the kids would have to walk five kilometers just for a school. So I'm working with the government. We donate the place and they build the school. Wow, that's amazing, John. All right, so this was John. I don't know if. It, Everybody knows, but I sort of have a adopted Filipino family that took me in when I decided to move to the Philippines and I stayed in their place for a very long time and it, It's so coincidence. Or I don't know if it, it's a coincidence, but we believe sometimes that things happen for a reason We go do all this relief fit in his original place as OFW it's just it, it's kind of crazy right it's crazy so we're just we're laughing and crying about it you know it's <laughs> it's kind of unbelievable check this out guys loaded up a massive truck municipality of Darwin. so shout out to the municipality of Darwin, my uh, hometown now and uh, divers of Darwin, so it's a huge diving community that are helping out with this. Awesome, awesome. Salam Are you gonna be the driver? Driver tomorrow? You know the way? Yes, sir. I know that. Yeah. Going to the north. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Tagay yesterday? Tagay? Tagay? No, Tagay. Still have loads of cats here. It's going to be great. So the guys picked up 90 pieces of these tarps and they are 5 meters by 5. So good for some temporary shelters. Happy New Year, Alex! Yeah, Happy New Year! You gonna join us? Yeah! That's good. We'll work on your house when we finish the uh, yeah. relief. Alright, off we go. Fill the tanks! <laughs> Gotta balance! <laughs> We're loading up for the next and one of the final missions we're gonna do for uh, relief fate, you know, food, water, the basics. But we're bringing a lot of building material and tarpets as well. Justin and the rest of the guys, they were actually collecting all of these items and supplies for the last two days while we were doing the relief in uh, Kapilau. We also got this big bad boy. All of these guys there, they're the Negros Tarsas, the best group of. Filipinos you can find always helping us you got five tons of rice are you a Tarzan? yeah Negro Tarzan yeah boy <laughs> filling up the water and we're back home now we're gonna go hit the sack very early because in the morning we're gonna be leaving about 5 a.m. the trucks will go ahead about one hour ahead of us and then we'll probably catch up with them massive massive 
day tomorrow, guys. Happy New Year. Let's bring some smiles. Go <laughs> quick, quick! Nice one, ladies. We're trying our best. <laughs> Good morning. Everybody's loading up. 5.30 or... No, what's the time? 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. We're almost at the Municipality of Baez, one of the worst hitting areas of Philippines, the highest number of casualty because it was flooding and the typhoon came here at midnight, so it's pitch black. I guess we'll see you guys in Mindoy. Good to see Christy. Oh <laughs> That's uh, one of my uh, Filipino family Adopted family uh, members. Uh, she came all the way from Cebu. Oh, so Shocking. I uh, know it's terrible, huh? I've, I've never seen anything be like this in my life. Yeah, this is the first time. Yeah, it's never happened before. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's the ferry. <laughs> Pila for the ferry. <laughs> How much, Kuya? 25 pesos. Okay, lad. <laughs> that is crazy. There's people over there. So actually there behind us, there used to be a bridge. You wouldn't know today. Completely gone. So they're transporting uh, between the river on a uh, custom raft. So we got a list of all the families here that we want to give out supplies. It's so important to identify which people are most need. Chilean. Chilean. I gotta say, remember to vote me. Vote me for the next election. <laughs> Everybody vote. We need the votes. Jason. <laughs> Jason. Okay, we're in uh, Jason's temporary house. So they got tarps, cooking materials. That's great. And their house, he was telling me the house is actually there before. And the only thing left is the cement, of course. That was his house before. Now we got temporary shelter. Absolutely nothing left here. But so friendly people <laughs> speaking Bisaya to me. Got my Bisaya, ma'am. <laughs> I tell you what, it feels different today. People are... The spirits are back, I would say. The spirit with the people is definitely back. Although there's a lot of struggle, there's a lot of things that need to be 
fixed and upgraded and get back on track to the life but I can tell just the uh, the mood of the people they are more to the chica chica laughing and making jokes like a uh, typical uh, Come on, sir. Oh, get up. <laughs> but these guys are bringing uh, those supplies up and we have to come back there one day maybe with a motorbike when it gets better weather and dry so we can take a look but for now we go to the next location with the big big trucks We just made it to the town of Himalut. Same story here, guys. Destruction everywhere. But we're gonna wait up with the trucks, and then the uh, Tarzan boys are gonna show us where help is really, 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 really needed. Check us out. I saw Tarzan's video. Video. <laughs> so right now we're going to coastal community one by one along here uh, Humalot <laughs> Municipality, sorry if I butchered that but uh, apparently this one needs water that's the biggest problem right now but we're of course gonna give them some rice but check this out they got balati tree I've never seen a balati tree so close to shore <laughs> welcome Police officers, we did not ask them. They're just volunteers. They don't need to be doing any work. They just need to be here to keep uh, order. But look at that now. They're they're just they're jumping in. They want to help. It's awesome. Shout out. Here's another example. There's a foundation here below this rubble, and there was a house. And this guy, Tai Tai, and the house shifted with the waves to here. And I just approached them, and they're sitting there opening the rice that we gave them. And they're just sitting here like it's something you can't really explain. Like, how can this happen? Vanilla, you should ask them if this type of typhoon has ever happened here before. Similar, same same. Stronger than this one. So they are uh, saying that before it was like around 120, then now it's like times two. Ah, uh, this one was way stronger. Yeah, this one is double. Stronger. Yeah, but yeah, it got yeah. hit by a typhoon also quite bad. But that was like 1980s, no? Then no. So about 40 years ago, huh? 40 years ago. All right, so we made it to the main location, and there's the road, the highway behind us. There's like two houses still remaining but it is just out of uh, the same story, of course, again. And you can see there's lots of people there and we're gonna go uh, support them. This is like, as bad as it gets. <laughs> Some houses here, but usually the whole beaches are full with uh, uh, Nipa, Nipa houses or bamboo houses, they're all gone, of course. And then they're gonna go and get some uh, supplies now. Very good. See, that used to be a house right there where Alex is standing. What wood is this? Talisan? Talisan? We also got Sergeant Reynolds with us. 
This is too big from my own too big. Too big for my too big, you're done. <laughs> That's our about pure vita. Deep juice. Very good. <laughs> Already in line. Very nice. There's about 85 households here, or, or 85 families. We got one tank for each and every one. Here's the kids station. We get a cookies and apple. Very nice line. Another barangay behind, there's a lot of them in houses. Saying goodbye to everybody. And now we're off to Manhuyut. Uh, we pretty much got done here with the most affected areas. And we see there's so many damages in Manhuyut that we want to make a stop there. Guys, we stopped a little bit here in, I don't know where the place is this, but Ate Christy. Thank you. Ate Christy. Perfect. Perfect for cold weather. It's raining hard. And all of these guys, they are Sagadas. Sagadas are the ones that cut the sugar, the sugar cane. We are right now in Sugarlandia. Sugarlandia. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Welcome! No problem! Are you guys seeing that? That's something I've never seen before. So this is it. We got the barangay captain here. And he's gonna monitor each and every single face that comes here. Because a lot of people uh, follow us. <laughs> We'll make sure that it's distributed to the right people here in Manhuyot. You see, there's a lot of people. So, we'll be able to give a lot. Very nice. Wait, Tarlek from um, uh, Luzon? Yes. Oh, all the way from Luzon, these guys. I thought they were only in Cebu. Well, we got about 100 kilometers of broken lines. Zambales. Ooh, Zambales. Zambales? Yeah. Wow. Really? <laughs> That's awesome. See you later, we made it back. Yep. What's the time? Uh, I think it's like 7 p.m. or something. Or maybe 6. It's dark. We're exhausted. We started off 4.30 a.m. Four boring guys. Lots of goods and reliefs. And uh, I just want to say Thank you to everybody that was involved. If you guys make a comment and say, thank you, Finn Snow, I want you to erase that and say, thank you to everybody, because we could not, could not do any of this without this massive teamwork. So if you wanna say thank you to me, please say thank you to everybody. And lastly, uh, the reason why we're not accepting any donations is because we don't want to put too many projects onto our hands that we can't fulfill. And we've been receiving so many messages and emails about how you guys want to help, but we are just we just want to complete all the projects that we got on our hands. 
So uh, thank you for the inquiries and uh, thank you to everybody that's been uh, involved. It's just been amazing, humbling, and uh, so nice to see all the beautiful smices on all the locals that we meet along on this devastating journey. So uh, we build better and uh, we go on. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.